was 70, but I mean, you had them really, I think, about 60 with a minute to go and hold them almost 20 points under their season average. What did What did you like about what you guys did defensively tonight? Well, I I, I hated the first 10 minutes. Um, they were had uh, I think 23 points in the first nine minutes, and I think we held them to nine in the last eight nine minutes. And we, what we what we were able to do was actually implement our game plan, which is number one was transition defense. Number two is that we have to have a body jam jam the key, and, and number three you have, to, you have to rebound the basketball. And uh, I thought that the rebounding total tonight was pretty critical that we ended up having 29 defensive boards. And, you know, we got 11 offensive boards, kept an extra possession for us here and there, which we could use some clock. You can't score if we have the ball. Um, as you mentioned, at the end of the game, we, we allowed them to score some more points because of the nature of them fouling and going back and forth. But um, you know, we had to learn how to, you know, we made free throws, took care of the ball okay. But I said we just didn't milk the clock very well. Um, but that's something to continue to work on. Yeah, there was a stretch there in that second half where Donovan seemed to take over. I mean, he scored six straight, throws a lot for a dunk, that steal, takes a charge. How has his confidence kind of progressed this year, and what have you seen out in Los Well, I, I give a lot of compliment to Rich Shipley that's allowing Donovan to play. Ridge is, Ridge is really a, a stable rudder and, and a real emotionally stable. He's had a great senior year. He's had a senior night, but Ridge is, Ridge is the uh, stake of the team right now. Donovan's the dessert. He, 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 he is, he's, he's tasty. Uh, he's, he's, got a, he's got a flavor and uh, he's fun to watch. He's fun to, you know, you know, people like dessert. And that's what Donovan is. He makes plays and he, he, he comes up with steals and charges and shots and he has that. But um, I think that, that he is able to do that because we have that stability in Ridge and then Vic kind of picks his spot. You know, Vic kind of goes boop, boop, but, but Donovan can, can really um, energize the building, and that's what he did tonight. You mentioned you mentioned Ridge, but Zach and Kyle as well, and, and senior night coming up, and um, just quick thoughts on, on those guys playing their, their last home game on Saturday. Well, the best part about those two seniors is show you their commitment to the team and Cal Poly. They're both coming off the bench, playing significant minutes, but just from a sense of rotation, we, we changed lineups and we started hang just to keep Zach out of foul trouble every night. Started a longer guy, started to do some shot blocking, developed that way. Zach comes in and gives a burst of energy. Kyle, we said, hey, we just want to go with more ball handling and try to try to change the tempo of our game. Kyle didn't blink. He comes in and he, he, he's, he's a hired, a hired uh, assassin. He's taking his shots and he's still playing with great confidence. So Bridge is a stability, but the, those are two other spark guys for us. We'll start them both um, on Saturday night for senior night. So we'll start all three seniors get them in there and maybe that'll get us off to a better start. We have not had great starts at home. We've had some great starts on the road with this team. We went for our last five with lineup change and, and some defense and offensive adjustments, but uh, getting better. That's all we went. We still have another practice, another game to get better before the Big West tournament. And hopefully, you know, we take care of business, get a little help. We might end up being as high as a five seed. And a month ago, you look at the team, you might say, well, he's be lucky to ever make the playoffs. Um, but uh, hats off to the kids. They, they are so coachable. They buy into everything we do, and hats off to assistant coaches. They brought a ton of ideas to the table. Like, we'll try this, look at that, try lineup changes. You know, you gotta keep on working. And there's been a ton of work that's put in to, to turn this team um, into a momentum team that we are right now. Joe, the last month and a half, it seems like guys have really, I guess, become comfortable in their roles just from watching from the outside. Is that something that kind of happens naturally, or is that something you guys like talk to them about and sit down with individual guys, or kind of how to? How does that happen over the course of a year? Really know, both. I mean, you, you do talk to them about what we need from you. You do, do do it in practice, and you have rotations in practice, and you have certain encouragements to um, to a guy like Kyle. Like, you got to come in firing. You can't you can't wait. It's, that's your role, you know. And his teammates, you know, the other third part of that is your teammates do it. It's like watching Hank's development. Now you got to throw Hank the ball a couple times in here and there to, for him to have a good post move. And, um, I, I, I think that the confidence that Donovan showed Hank by throwing the alley -oop, that, that develops the role of like, hey, we believe in you, and uh, I just think that's a, it's a big part of, of, of the role development is teammates embracing that, not just the player, but the other teammates saying, hey, yeah, you do that, go to work, you can take that shot, hit that shot. So when you miss, when you fail, you need some encouragement from somebody besides the coaches. You need it from teammates, which are they're actually closer to and believe more. But they're saying because those are those peers. You don't want to let them down.
Can we just kind of get your thoughts on the uh, Santa Barbara game coming up? And you've been still thinking about the first one uh, going into this new matchup. Well, I think about every game, uh, win or lose, and I'll, I'll have to think a lot more about it tomorrow morning when I rewatch the tape. And uh, they played a two-three zone for the majority of the year. Uh, we had built a lead, and they went to man to man and jumped on us, and we we caught. We were back on our heels. We weren't aggressive to the hoop. Couldn't get a, a, to the free throw line. We didn't do what we needed to do to, to, to put them away there. Um, Coach Williams is is the one of the veterans on the, the West Coast, longevity wise. One of the most well respected, uh, great minds of basketball, great minds of Big West. So it's scary to play against this team every single time. They won uh, a few games in a row on us right now. And uh, if, if we're going to be doing any damage. Uh, in the Big West tournament, we got to just get better. We just got to have a better. We got to play play a little better um, in any way. I don't care if it was Santa Barbara or, or the Lakers that we're playing tonight. Um, we, we've got to we've got to get better and get ready for that game. It's a rivalry. There's emotion. It's senior night. It's the last game. All that plays into it. But from my perspective, are we going to get a little bit better? You've seen a team get better the last two or four weeks. Now I, we just can't. We can't stop that that progress of, of all the little areas. So it's exciting. Be a great atmosphere, we hope. Anything else, guys?